This video introduces the concept of a context-free grammar, which is a form of grammar ideally suited to describing the syntax of programming languages. The notation typically used to describe such grammars is Bacchus Naur form, or BNF, which was first used to describe the ALGOL 60 programming language. Bacchus and Naur are the names of the two individuals who developed and refined this particular form of presentation. Let's start off with an example. Here is a single grammar rule. The digit is the left-hand side, and the part to the right of this arrow is the right-hand side. Each of these individual numbers are terminals. In the language of grammars, they are also called lexemes. The left-hand side is always a non-terminal though we'll also see some non-terminals on the right-hand side in a moment. Non-terminals have these angled brackets around them, indicating that they can be expanded into something else. These vertical bars represent OR. So what this rule says is that the entity named digit can transform into a 0, or a 1, or a 2, or so on, basically any of the digits. Terminals are aspects of the grammar that cannot be simplified any further. So this rule defines a single digit, but what if we want to define numbers consisting of multiple digits? Well, this next example will be another rule, and it will use a non-terminal on the right-hand side, and in fact, it will be a recursive rule. So now our grammar has two rules or productions, or production rules, as they're sometimes called. We have one rule for digit, and then another rule for nat, which I'm using to represent natural number. Natural numbers are integers from zero and up, basically the non-negative integers. So a natural number can be one of two things. Notice we still have a vertical bar, but because this wouldn't fit nicely on one line, the vertical bar is starting the new line but it still means OR. So a NAT is either a digit, which is a non-terminal, but we can find out what a digit is by looking at this other rule, or a NAT is a digit followed by a NAT. So NAT is defined recursively in terms of itself. This first case with only the digit is a base case. And this second case where NAT is called again is a recursive case. These two rules allow us to create numbers of arbitrary length, as shown by the following derivation. A derivation starts with a given non-terminal and then expands it one step at a time according to the rules. Now I can pick whatever rules I want, but I will choose ones leading to a result which I think is illustrative. So there's two cases for nat, either digit or digit nat. I picked the second one, and so that's one expansion. Now I'm going to be doing what is called a leftmost derivation, meaning I'm always going to expand things on the left first. So a digit has to expand to one of these things. So I'm going to arbitrarily pick 9. That leaves us with 9 nat. And at the next step, I will have to expand the nat because 9 is a terminal and can no longer be expanded. So this will expand to digit nat. And at the next level, I'll have to pick a terminal for that digit. And I will pick 3. And we still have the nat there. And then at this level, I have 9 and 3. And what will I expand this to now? Well, this time, I'm going to pick the digit rule. So it simply expands to digit. And we're only one step away from being done. We expand this out into any of the digits. And I'll pick the terminal 0. So it was possible to represent the number 930 using our grammar. And this is a derivation of this particular grammatical sentence. 
Unfortunately, this grammar also allows us to produce sentences like the following. Nat could expand into digit and nat, but then at the next level, the particular digit I expand here is going to be a zero. So I have zero and nat, and you'll see that the problem is that I have a number in which the very first digit is a zero, and we would like to avoid that. I only want my numbers to start with non-zero digits. Uh, that's a more proper representation of a natural number. So how do we fix this problem? One solution is to transform our grammar as follows. So I'm going to start from scratch and redefine a nat to be either a single digit or something called a non-zero followed by digits. So these are two new non-terminals and also I need to redefine digit because I've erased that and it's going to be slightly different this time around. So what are digits? So we have a new non-terminal called digits with an S and this is going to be the recursive non-terminal. So digits is either a digit or a single digit followed by digits. And so now we need to define digit and non-zero. Well, a digit is either the terminal zero or a non-zero. And non-zero will be the collection of all the terminal digits from one to nine. So this grammar allows us to generate any non-negative integer, also known as a natural number. The trick is that we will start with a digit or a non-zero. So if we have a digit, that is the only one we have. That one could be a standalone zero or any of the values from one to nine. However, if we're going to have something that follows that first digit, then that first one cannot be zero. So we only allow a non-zero here, therefore we'll have a value one through nine. And then the digits portion of this recursively fills in some arbitrary number of digits, which could include a zero because of this definition here. And that's how we get all of the non-negative integers. We'll be seeing many more examples of grammars as we explore other aspects of syntax in the upcoming videos.